everyone and how you all doing this morning first of all i would like to welcome you guys to the 13th episode of dj talk and now before we get started i would like to take this time to shout out to everyone and tell you that hope you guys are doing well and if not you guys get more better and more stronger than ever now If you guys haven't heard the last episode, make sure you go check it out because this because this episode was so amazing, and you just want to continue to listen to it and become more inspired and more determined to hear it. So make sure you guys check it out. So, with that being said, many times have I would say it, let's get right to it. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to change the negative into a positive. So, in everyone's minds, today is, what does it mean to change the negative into a positive? It's a very interesting, you know, that's a very great question. It means to get rid of negativity out of your minds, your heart, your approach, and the list goes on and replace it with a positive. Now, there are multiple steps of how to change the negative into a positive. And that is what we're going to be analyzing it at this moment. So the first step is change your environment. Change begins with everyone and everything around you. Take a look and see if they are people you spend time with. With that are generally negative and discouraging and spend less time with them. It may be difficult at first, but when heading towards positive change, you need to be sure that the people around you aren't going to distract you from your goals. Tidy up your physical environment by cleaning your desk and cupboards of junk. Unnecessary clutter and weighs you down. Start fresh on your way to reaching your goals in a clean, distraction-free environment. Number two, find support. Positive change is easier to attract, attain with encouraging, supportive people around you if you want to get in better shape but have trouble staying motivated to get outside and for a run. Find a friend that will run with you and keep you on the right track, literally and figuratively. Number three, be patient during the process. Walk, but don't walk, but don't run unless your personal goal is to run a marathon, in which case run. Take in baby steps and breaking your goals up into milestones makes the goal much more manageable 
and hitting milestones on a frequent basis keeps you motivated. You need to stay patient throughout this process. It can be months until the end goal is reached. And failing to remember this will cause you to rush through necessary steps out of frustration. Stay patient. You will reach your goals. Number four, measure your change. Whether it's crossing X on your calendar, tracking results on a smartphone app, or monitoring the numbers online, be sure to keep track of your progress to see that you're actually working towards positive change on a daily basis. Measuring your change also makes it easy to see what Crocker call chains of success. And the longer the chains of success are, the harder they are to break. And it is written and said, try creating dedicated blocks of time set aside for one change at a time. Number five, one change at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself with too many adjustments at the same time. It's great to be ambitious, but try in to change two or three things all at once can be stressful and difficult. Try and create, try creating dedicated blocks of the of time set aside for one change at a time. Even if it's part of one larger goal, creating dedicated sets of time, e.g. one month or six weeks, keeps you focused and makes your goal seem more attainable and immediate. Number six, identify and understand what you want to keep, what you want to change. Whenever you decide to make a change, you must first understand why you are making the change in the first place. Like Associate Professor Anthony Grant from the University of Sydney Coaching Psychology Unit says that you should start by defying your core values and identify what is important to you. You need to be able to identify what it is about your goal that adds you adds to you as a person that makes you feel more better and more expansive, like Grant would say. If your goal aligns with your core values, then the thought of it will trigger a positive gut feeling. Number seven, rid your life of negativity. This is not as simple as it may sound. If you're surrounded by negativity, then how can you expect to have a positive and joyful life. In fact, those who are negative or surrounded by negativity are more stressed, get sick more often, and less have less opportunities than those who are positive. Chris 
as Chris Tallenbass says on Life Hacker says when we make a decision to become positive and follow that decision up with action when we will begin to encounter situations and people that are also positive of course that's easier said than done that's why he suggests that you can accomplish this goal by doing the following you'll find when you complete these steps you will be more confident in your life number eight exercise more often you may be getting tired of hearing everyone tell you that you just you need more exercise sure exercising is great for you physically but it's also an excellent way to become more positive in life exercise can change the direction the direction of most situations in your life as nike would say just do it the benefits of exercise are immeasurable you gain purpose drive but most of all it teaches you a discipline for starters when you exercise you feel better about yourself which leads you to having more confidence exercise also reduces anxiety and stress and releases euphoric chemicals in the brain like endorphins in dopamine number 9 be kind to others son ja Lyle Borinsky, a professor at the University of California, Riverside says, people who engage in kind acts become more happier over time. The reason when you're kind to others, you feel good as a person, more moral, moral, optimistic and positive. There are numerous ways that you can be kind to others that don't take that much time and effort for example you can purchase coffee for a coworker pay the toll for the person in line behind you visit a family member or a friend or drive them to the airport smile at cashiers or servers or you could volunteer whatever you have free time number 10 build a support network according to the Mayo Clinic a strong social support network can be critical to help you through the stress of tough times whether you've had a bad day at work or a feel or year filled with loss or chronic illness this group of friends family and peers is also important because they provide additional benefits like providing a sense of belonging an increase in self-worth and a feeling of security whenever you need advice information or guidance number 11 eliminate the non essentials after identifying the things that are most important in your life it's time to start eliminating everything else this is all about simplifying your life excuse me 
so that you can focus on the things that matter most to you and prevents you from getting distracted as Leo Babatua explains on Zen Habits we have so much stuff in our lives from possession to things that we need to do to information coming in in to visual coming in to visualize visual and emotional clutter that we are overloaded the results we end up doing a lot of things that aren't really important to us because we have so much other stuff to do that has crept in our into our lives and that we leave in our lives unexamined i also find this true in the business world that when i eliminated unneeded expenses you can become much less stressed Number 12, take baby steps. The premier, the one premier motivator that leads us to persevere is baby steps. John says John the brew baker, an entrepreneur. It's because when we look at the big picture, we can get overwhelmed with all the steps involved in achieving a goal. Instead, break the big picture goal down into systematic, manageable baby steps then document and celebrate your wins daily this will help you achieve that change that you've been seeking in a positive way and meaningful way number 13 look forward to looking back live your life when you're young as if you're looking back on it when you're old. Susan advised her students the same thing. Holes at any point in your life. Five years from now, you'll be glad you decided to put more efforts into your marriage. Signed the for that watercolor class and on or online or gave online dating a chance. Whatever the outcome, people think the only way to change is to go completely all off the rails. Susan says, but change with a lowercase c can be easier to wrap your head around and surprise you in how much it impacts your happiness number 14 find your motivation you can't prioritize everything says alice boys phd author of the healthy mind toolkit simple strategy to get out of your own way and enjoy your life. It continues to. It takes cognitive effort and disciplines 
to make a change from whatever comes most naturally to you. So find a bigger reason for making a change, like stronger relationships or or a more satisfying work life. People devalue incremental improvements, Alice says. But what I call micro steps may completely solve a problem and have a big impact on your happiness. Feeling distant from your spouse If you spend 180 minutes a day together, make a commitment to devote just 10% of those moments, 18 minutes in all, to being more emotionally connected. Turn off the TV, put away your smartphones, and engage in a conversation about something other than politics or household chores over time, she says, that can really lead to a relationship that feels closer. Number 15, get real with yourself about what you're willing to do. Consider obstacles when you're forming a plan for Let's just say losing weight or eating healthier, Alice says. Saying you're going to eliminate all white foods from your diet is unrealistic. When your favorite dish at the corner bistro is linguine with clam sauce, you might However, be willing to replace white bread with whole wheat and experiment with different types of pasta like brown rice or quinola when you're cooking at home. Number 16, respect your temperament. Acting out of character can be a depleting effect on us, says Cambridge University psychologist Brian Little, PhD. That's true whether you're a natural born invert trying to behave more gregariously or you're attempting to temper a combative personality. Brian, Brian's advice is to seek out what he calls restorative niches, where you can allow your inborn temperament to roam free. A self-described lifelong introvert, Brian sometimes gives a day-long presentation, but by the end of the morning sessions, he's feeling depleted and over-aroused to recharge for the afternoon sessions. He declines invitation to lunch with colleagues and instead spends the hour taking the recuperative solitary walk. Number 17, accept that you'll experience a mix of positivity, positive and negative emotions. Stepping out of your comfort zone is, by definition, 
uncomfortable. But Alice says, says Alice, there's power in learning to tolerate emotions like anxiety, frustration, doubt, or envy. It opens up a world of positivity. Excuse the background. It opens up a possibility of what you can accomplish. She says, choosing the most meaningful path over the most comfortable one will help you reach your potential. And last but not least, expand how you define yourself. A rigid self identity can cause you to underestimate the available opportunities and choose. Alice says, if you defy yourself as polite and easygoing, you may not be able to imagine yourself being assertive in asking for what you want. What you want. With flexibility, you can give expression to less dominant parts of yourself. The hidden extrovert the sometime adventurer every time every new situation provides us with opportunity to bring any sides of ourselves that we want that situation <laughs> Alice says so you see with these with the 18 steps that was talked about about Changing the negative into a positive can be a big factor for all of us. Not only that, we can also change our mindsets and change our ways of thinking. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you guys a story about how impacted my life, but impacted my life, but changing my mindset when I was in. Car- when I was in karate training for a tournament, I heard a student said one time, I can't. And my teacher shout to that student, said, never say I can't. You can and you will. So after that, I started to develop a positive attitude at a young age, noticing that it was time to change the negative and replace it with a positive. So you see it, it was all about observation and knowing what it had to be done. If I can change my mindset, so can you. Now, there's a verse that has that talks about changing the negative into a positive, and it says like this, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate day and night, so that you may be careful to do it accordingly to all that is written in it. For then you will make it your prosperous, your way prosperous, and then you will have a good success. Very inspiring, very humble. So you see, it's like what this verse talks about. We have to be all about it, and we need to jump be appreciative about what it is giving us. So in this life, in difficult times right now, we need to change our mindset and starting by changing the negative and replacing it with a positive. So to end this episode, I would like to give you guys advice about how your life can be great, but more than great, how it can be exciting as well just like the song goes the life is so exciting so remember this change remember this change the negative into a positive so i hope you guys enjoy this episode and i hope it touched your heart and even better your mind so with that being said stay tuned for more episodes of dj talk hope you guys enjoy a great day 
And most importantly, a great weekend. Stay positive and stay motivated. Peace out.